Ziafir kitlerorayır nek. Ziaf sen betran orkun mundet iyi spor çantacak çok güzel olsa. Zabi di tabu kudur urktuk top arab tuvarıman darakin top tabu tuvar inku işini kente de urkut bilsem semena. Zabi tabu kunde inku tuvarta yok urkuyekir. Dikin tuğun da tir tosma iyi sportin tuğun da tir tosma counter strike tağlamın tuğun garsın şiltik tam beril tuvayo comeback intlar hadilin gömitlik urkuvasına kentte ka çoğuar. Her ne kadar çok tir tosma hayır mı garıys zaman her ne ambat yaptı çoğu iyi sporti ürünlük belden daha olsun cildi değil. Zaten bu tıksor hayır ki gaming chainlin zuvas tabu kunde idgir cildi de olsun ham iyi gerçekte irin iris boyu comeback into rude sin ko bitkle tabu kun doksan sonuç tadla zayıfına. Hayır mı aran zorgani arayır tarsarın aran zorgani otur basın. E-League Main Qualifier гэх тэмцээний үеийн тоглолт болох CLG буюу Counter Logic Gaming баг эсрэг Team Renegades багийн тоглолт болсон билээ. За тэгвэл энэ хүү тоглолтон дээр Team Renegades баг 15-ийн харьцаатайгаар илт давуу байраа сольсон бөгөөд араас нь 5 раунд давхар авсан байдаг. За ингэс дээр тэд 15-аас 1 раунд алдалгүй өөр тайм гаргасан ба тоглолт нь 19-16-ийн харьцаатайгаар Team CLG баг comeback-ийг чадсан байна didn't push long because that's how the round falls apart. He's positioning the bombs down as well, but he misses the shot on T-Slow. Lovely shoulder peeking, but he's got Rekker to entertain as well. Just the pre-fire spam with the auto sniper, not going to work out. They've got the bomb site and the CTs are very far away. Kista and Sabrosa coming in now. Oh, opportunity struck there for T-Slow. Distraction was not good enough. Down to JKS, there's number one. All he has to do is kill Kusta now, and Kusta, he's running out of time. He does have a kit, though. JKS waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Here's Kusta onto the bomb. There's the peak. Kusta nails JKS. Does he have time? Just about. <laughs> Great delivery. Special delivery by Kusta. But for the Renegade side, who's going to peak first? Azar. Rekke can't find the frag. Close. Oh, man. Push through B with support, but we've got Eustelo in a blind angle. That could be a perfectly timed flashbang. Oh my god, they're gonna go for the push though. On this clock, there's no split. Surprise is pushing long as this push comes in towards a short area. Lovely crossfire from the CTs. Kusa picking Azeroth and again. Surprise is flanking now towards a short position. Renegades are trapped. They haven't got a single kill yet. And they're running out of time to even get a chance to plant this bomb. Ethan gets picked off, but Surprise is coming in from the back now. Headshot to JKS, leaving Yam alone. And he can't do it either. We are indeed going to overtime between these two teams. 12 rounds in a row. Oh man. I mean, the story, oh, the, man. The, the story face-wise. Face Double players here, Sabrosa and Ethan. Sabrosa starts things off. Well, that's two for him. And big problems now for the Renegade side because they have yet to gain ground to plant the bomb. They're all falling. It's just one left now. That's Yam. He's over by middle. He's supposed to be the lurker, but now he's the only player left on the team in this round. He's against two players. He's got to try to grab that bomb somehow. You're looking like the most fertile balls in the field, Dan. Go for this. This had worked out quite well for them in the past. Oh, the scope. I mean, rather the barrel of the gun. Surely was showing for Cutler. There is an opening, and that is an opening. The COG will spill through there, taking that B bomb site. Smoke goes down. As with a quick frag, though, the rotation is coming into the B bomb site. But the bomb is still on Cowell. He can still go three lead to a nice frag from Stillo. But the sprint. Position away, Kusa can't do anything about it, and now he's still at a superior angle. One kill for him, traded, and Asati versus two retake. Nate, Ethan's in a very awkward position, but lovely headshot! And leaving Yam with 17 HP versus two, how does he do this? He's got a smoke, he's got a kit, but he can't get the kill. CLG still does two away from Renegades. How has this happened then? Үхнээс дэйвүр сэрглэн бүтээрч цоглэг эс чүүчтэй байхыг хүсэж байна уу? Ягэл хэрмшиг. Байгдэйн хүчэг мэдэр Солар Пауэр энергий хунда. Hayır mı garon emani tavtuar sarın zorgani utur olsun IEM Sydney hayır mı garon em tim seni Grand Final bolduk 
Астралис баг эсрэг фейс гэсэн хоёр багийн гурав дахь тоглолтон дээр энэхүү гайхалтай камбэк болжээ. За тэмцээний ихний хоёр мапыг фейс баг амжилттай авсэдэж гурав дахь мап болох трейн дээр 11.4 арцаатайгаар хожигдөж олон раундын зүрүүтэйгээр баяраа сольж эцэст нь 16.4 арцаатайгаар хожсон байдаг. Molotov flashbangs into the air. Zipnik's gonna lead the way. Nico trying to hold on. That's a nice one tap. And he gets more. Hole three. He stopped him cold, but Device and Magic respond until just now. A bypass appears over the top to come his way. This is very fast. And he is prepared. He gets the dink, can't complete the kill. Takes some time. There goes Nico. That was the rotation. That was the help. And the inner bomb slate has collapsed. Bomb going down on top of the train. But it's a three on three. This retake has to start real soon and rotate. Rain though working its way forward, spots out match, stick to the back of the head, does get him down in the end, but the trade is there, Dupree. Called for support, Nico is there, but now he's playing by the old bomb train, so he's still on the site. Zinix goes down, Guardian tries to lurk forward, but he might get it so close, and Magis is closer, but Nico's so quick. Magic for Astralis, and look at exists, work his way around the back lines. Glaive now surrounded all fronts, he knows his, his days are pretty numbered here. He's had OT in so many of these maps already. He's spotted one out towards Bane. Quantum goes in. Astralis needs to be It's going to be go time. Carrigan, Nico, Rain all on the front lines and Rain. He's exceptional. He's doing everything he needs. And Nico right alongside him. It's going to be 15 for phase. One round between them now. And picking up that trophy. What hurts and Nico gonna push up. He's gonna take all the risks. Debris shuts him down. That might be the opening they needed. Nico wanted to end it and he could get punished. A good find, but the alt being involved now and now utility is the problem. It's a 3v3 and it might not be for long. It's down to Glaive and Zimnix. It's phase at the helm with only 10 seconds remaining. Astralis are running out of players, options, and time. It takes this and Guardian to do it. It's phase plan. Can you believe it? The Intel Extreme Master Sydney Champion, FaZe! The group stages, they struggled so much. And Sydney, Australia, FaZe are your Intel Extreme Masters Champion! Сахар нь дараагийн гайхалтай комбэкний нэг нь 2016 оны 4 дугаар сарын 3-ны өдр болсон MLG Columbus 2016 тэмцээний семи файнал болох Team Liquid баг эсрэг Luminosity гэсэн хоёр багийн ихний тоглолтон дээр ийнхүү Luminosity баг комбэк хийсэн байдаг. За хэрэв та бүхэн санаж байвал Cold Zero Begin Apps дөрвөн тоглогчийг унгаасан түүхэн үйл явдал болсон тоглолт үлээ. За тэр тоглолтын тооны ярьцаа 15 US байх үед Cold Zero Begin Apps дөрвөн тоглогчийг унгаастаас хойш нэг ч раунд алдалгүй 19.5-ийн ярьцаатайгаар хөдсөн байна. Three rounds, Luminosity don't lose a single player. This is not going to be something that they're going to be very happy to do, and you can see why there's no distraction for these CTs. Fallen is just taking pot shots, hits both. Nitro and Hiko are down now, and it's just on Adren. Oh, nice little tap there, but it is small consolation in the face. Luminosity might be making the right play if they can hit the shots. There are the aggressive nades, and again, fast control here, and Cold's going to hit the first shot. Nitro's down. Oh, this is looking quite good for Luminosity, but there's a trade coming in from Elise. Oh, and Simple's down as well. This is looking terrible right now for Liquid. Luminosity, they will bring this all the way back to overtime. It started with the most unbelievable AWP display I have seen this year from Cole. The second execute, three men up the team slope. Fallen's going to get the first frag. Looking from the box, FNX with a two man. So there are only, there's only one play left. Nitro gets one frag, but he's had 12 HP. He's got a lot of work to do here. The rotation's coming in as well. Time is off the essence. He needs headshots. He's not going to find them on the site, Fallen, he has to hit these shots, there's the first one, but there's still more players, it's going to be simple, trying to get the bomb plant here, but he's aware that he hasn't got much in the way of cover, the smoke is going to have to do for now, and there is the frag from Cold once again, coming in onto Elige, Simple and Hiko, dynamic duo have to get this done, Simple retreating back to Tetris, Hiko not in a good position there in the corner of the bomb site, Simple must be on point, 
Looking for the first shot. There's the flick. He's going to miss this time. And these Luminosity players are getting really close now. Hiko getting the spray in the back of Taco. Still more players coming. He's not got much in the way of bullets left. And there's the frag from Fur. They're going to get the push anyway. In come all the players. Taco. Oh, no. He's going to go down straight away. Team frag coming in. Cold is in an awful position with this. Op oh, no. Misses the no scope, but finally gets it. They didn't know he was there. They still are scrambling on the bomb site. Elise will finally take. Absolutely. Anyway, there's the spot. Still plenty of time for Hiko to play with. Clutch Marcher of this team, and there's going to be FNX. Three rounds there in the first half of the overtime. Splitting all on these two players who have pushed close to the slope. Liquid are going to have a lot of trouble here. There's three frags in a row there for Luminosity. What are Liquid going to do? It's just Hiko and Simple on the rotation. There's Simple the first frag. Hiko gets one as well. Two versus three now. The bomb still needs to be planted, so a lot of time to try to engineer this retake. But Simple is dead, and that leaves everything to Hiko again. He is the man you want in this position, but one versus three. This is for everything. This is for the map right now. Hiko making its way around the smoke. It was found that he will spot Taco, but that's it. Luminosity with a comeback from 15-10. An amazing play from Cole with the AWP all the way back into overtime, into a victory. Ten rounds in a row for Luminosity. Зя харин хоёр дахь байранд орсон комбакийн төвөр маань дөнгөц сая бидний танилцуулсан MLG Columbus 2016 тэмцээний семифиналын хоёр дахь мэп дээр болж өнгөрсөн байдаг. За эхний мэпийг Luminosity Gaming-ийнхэн Mirage мэп дээр тун гайхалтай комбак хийж хөдсөн ч үүгээр төгсөхгүй хоёр дахь мэп болох Cage дээр ч муу адил 15-аргийн ярьцаатай байсан тоглолтыг 16-аргийн ярьцаатайгаар хожин үзэгч олныг гайхруулсан байдаг. The Flames as well. Team Liquid playing Luminosity style with all these Molotovs. First man's down, that's fallen. First gonna even things up. He can't get to the AK though. Gonna get traded by Adren. Simple goes down, three versus three. It's FNX on the B-bomb site now. He's in the headshot position. He's got two more to fight. They make the move, but they have a disadvantaged engagement. Oh, that's a good smoke here. Oh, but the spray for the smoke is very strong, but somehow Adren wins the battle against FNX. It's called cool. Taco. Make their way a nice Molotov, forcing Hiko out there. Oh, he can't back away. He's burning, and Cold will take the frag. Now it's all on the Dren. The standard for this tournament. Getting tagged down the three. Taco with the wall bang, and that's going to be the round there for Luminosity. But the plan did go down for Liquid. Good for Luminosity. Simple though, getting off to a good start, and Fallen might pick now. Is he going to get punished as well? Oh, the timing. The smoke will do the job. Bomb gets picked up, and we should see the plan coming in soon. 30 seconds to get that done. For the event. Looking for the jump shots potentially. This is audacious stuff there from Simple, and he will pay for it. Now it's going to be Luminosity storming the bomb site. It is a clean sweep on the mace. You are towards the middle area in the T warehouse. As you can force, if there was a player in the vent, they can force him out for Simple, but he's going to get the pick onto the in game leader, Fallen. And now Fur has to defend alone. He's used all of his bullets almost. He'll get one frag, but Elise is good for the trade. Now, once again, Liquid can storm the bomb site. FNX is trying to buy some time. Simple, trying to line up the shot, can't quite find the angle. FNX just slightly too far towards end this. There's 15 seconds left to get the bomb down. Cold can stop the round alone. It's all on Hiku and Cold. Hiko taking a lot of damage there, so is Cold down to 31. Oh, the flash from a teammate, so good, but Simple gets the trade. Taco with a headshot and Simple, five seconds left to plant the bomb. Adren will get a frag, but there's no time to plant the bomb. He's in CT spawn, Dan, and we are gonna go to overtime, so close. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna see some really weird stuff here from Liam Musty. They have completely abandoned the B bomb site, putting three A and two mid, and they have lost mid, and they never had B to begin with. Enjoy it. Taco though has just rushed straight into the A site. He will see that it's completely clear. And Liquid will have no idea that he's on the site. Nitro goes down for free. Liquid are in trouble. Down. Elise on the rotation. Hiko needs a big, big play to save his team in this round. And he's got a guy going towards headshot. It's fur. The spray comes in. The flames are making it difficult. But what can Hiko do? He's got FNX jumping through the smoke. And Adren needs a one versus four retake with an AWP. And there it is, Cold is going to take his head off, and Luminosity will find themselves in the Grand Finals against Na'Vi. Top Nikdur Bernd, Star Series I League Season 2. Гэхдээ тэмцээний 3 дугаар байрны төлөх тоглолт болох 
Team Liquid болон Phase гэсэн хоёр багийн хоёр дахь мэп болох Inferno дээр тоглосон comeback багтжээ. За Team Liquid баг илт давуу байдлаар 12 гурван ярьц цатайгаар байраас өлсөн хэдийч Phase Clan баг CT талтаа тасралтгүй. 13 раундыг авч овертайм гаргана. 28 26 I know we just said having the resume, wouldn't it? Doesn't look like they're gonna be able to beat FaZe here. Guardian is so on point. Rain is gonna win that duel as well. And Olaf chiming in. There's just been no success whatsoever. Small pit, and here comes the Molotov. It's not gonna force anyone out. Rain though, his attention's gonna be important. The smoke is gonna allow Twist to go into the bomb site. Guardian's not watching that direction, and they've done it. They found a way in, but Kerrigan just now pouncing. Big double for Carrigan. Twist alone in the one versus two. He's gonna get the spray on one. Nico around oh. the corner and it's overtime. Triple here for Twist. An ace here and it's not gonna be possible, I think. He's gonna go for the spray. Takes one more out of bullets. Hiding inside the smoke and he almost gets it. Will be taken down. The defuse is in. I think he's just barely got it. Smoke, Molotov gonna be behind it. And I don't even know if Liquid can make it in here. This is gonna be so tough for them. Running through the flames. Kerrigan's waiting with the SMG, and that's so easy. Now Nico peeks one more for him, spraying him down. He gets two, he gets all three. The Deagle returns, but it's beautiful. Nico wins it with utility alone. It does. It's I really so feel good. like it's true. Yeah, once you get to playoffs, it's like this is the map. Good, but not great. Olaf and Rain have to make the choice to push down mid for the flank or rotate, rotate through CT spawn. They're about to have a lot of pressure put on him with Kerrigan boosted up. He's gonna get a double. He cannot control it, and there's Nico. The problem here, I mean, apart from everything else, also the time. There's only 10 seconds. He's gonna go straight for the punt. No other choice. I mean, anything else would have probably been a mistake now. One versus three. Lee's trying to extend the overtime here. Otherwise, we're gonna go straight on to Mirage, and that's a great flashbang. Olaf will take him down. And finally, we put an end to Inferno in four overtimes with a scoreline of 28 to 26. FaZe Clan somehow making it back. That guy bit me. Top gun the urgent top tau. That a content team man. If you need to go and see top gun the urgent top gun the urgent top gun. YouTube the subscribe the camera to that. That I can do what I want to see. I'm top. Таван одоо комбэкийг оруулахыг хүсчихэн тэгээд таван коммент зэрэгт үлдээх юм артууцэ. Тэгээд энэ удаагийн дугаар марын нүрээд өндөрлөж байгаа. Дараагийн дугаар уулзлаа баяртай үзчихтэй.